me. check the ice again I checked it like a week and a half ago and uh, there was some ice it got warm after that and uh, now it's been cold enough to where I think it's been making some ice again so we're gonna go give it a look I brought my stuff with the fish too so if we happen to have enough then we're gonna fish I know there are some other lakes around here that have froze over it's just the one I choose to fish the most is uh, it's a little deeper and doesn't freeze quite as quick so anyways here we go this hole and there's ooh, hear that making ice you'll hear it crack every once in a while well, there it was again cool anyways there's like I don't know six inches now and as you can see there's some tracks that some other people have been out here We're gonna set our shack up right over here. About 10 feet of water. And then we're gonna put our tip ups in about three to four feet of water. So yesterday we had to get rid of one of our roosters. We had two roosters and it was causing a big problem. Um, what was happening is the big rooster didn't like the little rooster. And basically the big rooster wouldn't let the little rooster come into the chicken coop during the day and it was freezing cold outside. 
and all sorts of problems would happen. He would go up there and then all the small chickens would go up there. I, I had to keep the gate open during the day, which I don't like to do. Come on, chickens, out. Where are you? Out, out, out. Go out. Oh, good, one's out. I actually prefer to have the chickens just kind of stay down here and that way they can just go in their coop whenever they want. Um, another problem was that the little red rooster couldn't be inside with the big rooster and so I couldn't keep the door closed which I like to do when it's really really cold. All sorts of problems were happening. So anyways, Shane had to kill the little rooster, which is so sad. It just like makes it be such a sad day, but I guess that's just what it is on the homestead and when you have chickens. So and that's at least how we had to deal with it because nobody's going to take a rooster, even if it's free, they're not going to take it off your hands. So that's what had to happen, but peace is restored now and the chickens are able to come out and I can keep the gate closed and I can also shut their door and everybody's peaceful so it really is nice um, in the end even though yesterday was a sad day. Got a flag. I don't know, it's probably like a 20, 20, 21 incher. Okay. that rigged up for walleyes. Which I'd like to keep doing, but I'm just gonna keep losing that stuff if I keep doing that. So I might just switch over to a leader and a bigger treble hook on this one. Let's see if we can't just catch a big old giant northern.
sun goes down, it gets super cold and windy. Oh, I realize it's really dark, but I uh, only got two northerns, which is pretty good, you know, first time out. Just testing everything out, making sure everything works, and so that wasn't too bad. Oh, my light shut off. shuts off like that anyways so time to pack it up and go home eat some supper anyways thanks for hanging out guys It's a good thing we don't have a lot of snow. We would have probably lost some pieces. I think we're good. Alright. What do you think, Lindsay? One, two, three, four, five rows. Pretty good. Alright. Alright. There's all your hard work. We're ready for lunch. Okay. Yeah, this should last all next year. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap on the wood splitting and stacking and cutting. Oh well, no, I'm still gonna stack it in front of the house. Well, yeah, that's minor. Oh, okay. yeah, I know. I gotta do it today or tomorrow, though. Yeah. Looks yeah. Pretty good. Looks good. Good job, honey. Yeah. That's a lot of work you did. Terrific Tom Turkey.
woods chickens in our yard. There's some decent spurs on a couple of them. They're all gone, Lens. All right, guys. Today, we gotta bring wood up to the house. Um, we ran out. I don't know if you can see in front of the house over there, but there's no wood pile anymore. Chickens are all standing there. And uh, I should have probably done it yesterday because it was nice and sunny out. And But I got some other stuff I was doing and I just never got around to it. And now it's raining, it's foggy. The middle of December. It's just ridiculous. This weather sucks. Um, I can't even use the four wheeler right now to pull the trailer because uh, the roads um, where the snow got packed down and it's been raining on it now is just ice, as you can see. So I don't have any chains for my four wheeler to get traction, so I gotta use the truck. So I'm gonna go hook up the trailer, back it up to the wood pile, load the trailer up, bring it up, back it up to the house, and and just stack some wood again. This right here is by far our bravest bird. We call her Big Mama. She was bigger than the rest of them when we got them. And uh, she doesn't seem to mind people that much, but the rest of them are not so, they don't like people as much.
wife is sick today. Actually, she's been sick for the last few days. I don't know if it's COVID or what the hell she's got, but she's got fever and aches and dizziness and all that fun stuff. So probably gonna have to wait another week before we get another video out. She does most of the editing stuff. So it kind of puts us behind a little bit, but it's okay, she needs the rest. One thing about being sick, suddenly doing work doesn't seem that bad. But when you're doing work and you're feeling good, it doesn't sound so much fun. Anyways. Just keep stacking away. Folks, that's it. Did a little better job this time guessing how much I needed. Last time I was like a row lower. So that's pretty good for just guessing. And I also started cross stacking it on the right side there, which I got a bunch of comments. I shouldn't say a bunch, but I got some comments on the cross stacking idea and I knew about it or whatever, I just never did it because I'm kind of stubborn. And uh, I decided because I was getting some comments about it to try it and it works good. So thanks for the people giving me some comments. Anyways, I'm going to put the trailer away and put the truck away. And find some inside chores to do today because it is crappy out here. I don't know if you guys can see all the fog. But it's just raining and foggy and... Ruins the ice, ruins the snow, makes the ground soft. Just all around a mess. So, anyways, catch you later. Tonight we're gonna have a fish fry. Um, just a real simple meal idea. Um, just literally fish and probably some french fries. <laughs> I am getting over being sick and so my energy is slowly coming back and um, I'm excited that it's coming back, seeing as Christmas is only a few days away, four or five days away from today. And so um, I'm just really excited to be healthy again and good for that. So hopefully you all are staying healthy and are gonna have a healthy holiday. Um, so all the best to you with that because I know how it feels to be sick right before the holidays. Um, so tonight is a simple meal idea in the spirit of ice fishing starting. Shane is really excited to get out ice fishing this week and I'm excited for him too. Um, I'm also excited we're going to go ice fishing this weekend and so I'm excited for that as well. Hopefully we'll catch some fish to keep and bring home for the freezer. Anyways, I'm going to cook up a really simple meal tonight using this walleye that Shane caught over the summer. It was on June 24th of this last summer. And so just always so thankful to have fish in the freezer that we can just pull out and make a simple meal with. So here we go. So the first thing I do is I just start heating up the oil and I always use canola oil. I like it better than vegetable oil, I guess. So just a trick, it's really nice to use a cast iron pan for heating up your oil. It, um, I find that it, it holds the temperature exactly where you want it very easily. It doesn't do a lot of fluctuating, which I've, I've definitely experienced in the past. I don't have an electric fish fry or anything, so 
this is the way I have found frying fish is the easiest and it turns out the best. Okay, so I'm going to keep it simple and I'm gonna go with this pre-mixed batter tonight. And then I also use some flour. And then I use egg, a little egg and a little milk. And so what I do is I first dip the fish in the flour, then I dip it in the egg mixture, and then I dip it in the batter mixture. There's four fillets in there. It's two fish. It's amazing how full you can get off of fish, though. And just two fish can be a good meal. mind on cutting these in half. I think um, I just remembered we're gonna have these on sandwiches and so it's gonna be way better to have them cut in half. It's gonna give them one more spin in the batter. So first thing you wanna do is check the oil, make sure it's at 350. It seems as it's pretty ready. Okay, which is really good because Shane and Liam are about to be home. They are at basketball practice. Shane's the basketball coach. So here we go. If I just did three pieces at a time, I want to overload it. Yeah, looking good.
Yeah, we only need to fry them on maybe like two or three minutes on each side. They go really quick. So here it's sizzling. And that's some good fish. Walleye. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, see that? Super flaky. Super good. Probably really hot. Oop. So good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a really happy holiday.